It's time for another special lunch date and a really cool product review. Stick around to see what we're up to now. Recently, my daughter and I put up a video about us having a lunch date where we both enjoyed our first MRE. We had a lot of fun making that video, and since then we've been talking about trying to do it again, maybe making it a regular thing. But we wanted to try something a little bit different for the next one. So I put a challenge out for both of us to make homemade MREs, and then we would bring them and share what we created. I laid out prerequisites for what I thought would qualify so that we would be as equal as possible but not necessarily both of us bringing the same things to the table. So what I did was I laid out a list of everything that needed to be included in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to Scarlett to lay that out. Hey, and welcome to my portion of this video. So today I'm gonna to be doing a special challenge that my dad presented me with. He had an idea that we should put together our own homemade MREs separately and then we will come together and try them so he put together this list of guidelines i've got it right here and basically what this mre needs to consist of is an entree with two components like a main and a side um, a dessert two beverages one hot and one cold a snack that can be eaten alone or together with the meal an accessory pack with things like salt pepper seasonings napkins utensils and an energy item like a protein bar, for example. Um, and then, so we have a couple of rules for this video aside from what needs to go in it. So it needs to be cost efficient. The whole idea of this channel is to be as cost efficient as possible, dad budget prepper, you know. So I'm gonna be keeping up with the cost of each item and how much I spend on everything total. Another rule is that it has to be good for a year from the purchase date because MREs are supposed to be storable type foods for some degree of time. We need to be able to store this if we had to. So I'm gonna be keeping up with the cost and the expiration date today. I'm currently at my town's Walmart and I'm gonna be shopping for some of these items today. I've got my shopping list here with some research that I've done and I'm gonna be taking you along with me to see what all I purchase and yeah, so I'm really excited about this video. I'm really excited to see what my dad puts together as well. So let's get on it. All right, so now that you know the rules, I'm going to the neighborhood market near my house where I'm going to pick out my items and put together my MRE. So I'm pulling up now, I'm fixing to go in and get all of my items together. And then we're gonna see what I come up with on the other side. Come along with me and let's see what we got. So I just finished my shopping trip at Walmart for my homemade MRE. This is my total right there, $22.49. Don't know if you can see that. Definitely a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be, but considering some of the items I got were more than one serving and you could use more than once, um, I think I did pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down together and we're gonna put our MREs together and eat so them. So I just finished up at Walmart and that was surprisingly harder than I had expected. I had a really hard time finding items that had an expiration date of more than a year out. In fact, I kind of fudged on my dessert. Uh, looking at the expiration date, it's not quite a year, but that's something that is gonna be part of a learning experience. Now, I don't know if what I found today is indicative of grocery stores in general or specifically Walmart. I was really surprised at a lot of the products and how short of a shelf life they have. Uh, in fact, I was finding a couple items that had already expired several months ago, which was kind of uh, surprising. So having finished my shopping expedition, I'm gonna put the total up here for the unit cost 
of the items that I purchased uh, because right now I don't have that. Some of the items, of course, were bought in bulk and will have to be broken down into individual items in order to get the unit cost for that and be able to determine just how much I spent on the MRE itself. But we're done with that. That was the hard part, uh, surprisingly. And now it's time to package it all up and get it ready for our lunch date. So here we are back at the park and it's time for lunch. So let's get out the homemade MREs and see what we brought. So here's mine. <gasps> and here's hers. <clears throat> so let's open them up and start exploring a little bit about what's in it. Let's start with our entree item. What did you bring for your entree? So I have two parts to my entree. My main is salmon fillets though and then the side item that goes with it is whole grain and quinoa rice nice all right so my entree is a combination of happy <laughs> harvest corn and black beans with lime and cilantro this piece i here i got at aldi i did not get this at the walmart market i, I got these at walmart there saw that and realized this is very different from where I, what I was originally thinking and I wanted to do something different. But to go with my black beans, I got the Starkist Tuna Creations Hot Buffalo Style. I originally wanted the chicken version of this, but they didn't have it. So I just grabbed what they did have so I didn't have to do a bunch of running around. What did you pick out for your item to go with that can be eaten separately if needed? Beef jerky. Awesome. There's two in here and it has 23 grams of protein. So that is my snack that can be eaten with or separately. All right, what I got, I got something very different. I got freeze-dried strawberry fruit crisps. That sounds great. Yeah, so these are, are really cool. This is actually, I think, two servings. No, actually, one serving is this entire bag. That's crazy. So, yeah, that's awesome. What'd you get for your energy item? My energy item is a snap crispy protein bar in vanilla marshmallow flavor i got the nature valley crunchy oats and dark chocolate bar now the reason i went with this is i was looking at a lot of other things that i wanted i wanted to do something like beef jerky or slim jim or uh, even like a pack of the peanut butter crackers the problem that i was running into is none of it was good for even a year yep this was literally the only item that I could find. And that's not taken away from the product because it's a good product. Yeah. Uh, this is the only item I could find that would be good for a year from the date of, of, of buying. So that was something that I kept running into was I have very limited resources. I live in kind of a small town and I have a Walmart and a Kroger, but neither one of them are very well stocked. So it has very basic items in it. So. I kind of, I really had a hard time finding things that were good for at least a year. So I got to the point that if it said 2020 on it, I was like, all right, let's go with that. <laughs> but you did good. I mean, that's a yeah. cool selection. That, that's very different from what you normally would get in an MRE, but that's yeah. really cool. All right, what's your dessert? My dessert is the Lucky Leaf Dessert for One Blueberry Crisp. It is this bowl of basically blueberry pie filling and it comes with granola. Yum. Yep. Well, the funny thing is, mine is pretty much the same thing, except mine is the Lucky Leaf Dessert for One Cherry. And I didn't bring the cup that goes with mine because it wouldn't fit in my bag with all my other crap, so. I, I see both of us actually added a extra treat item into our kit. Mine's peanut M&Ms because it's one of my favorite candies. <laughs> mine is Reese's Pieces. So I think the last thing in both of our packs is our accessory packs and drinks. Which mine isn't all in one, it's in three separate things here. So my accessory pack, I have a MRE spoon. I have just a regular plastic spoon and fork because I didn't have an MRE spoon. I have a little container of Bulliard's pepper sauce. Yeah. A while back I bought a pack off of eBay that contained a bunch of MRE accessories. And this was one of the things that was in. I got a whole bunch of really cool stuff uh, more of the stuff like the, uh, the toilet paper slash napkins, a pack of matches, moist towelette, and a pack of creamer. So for my cold drink, I brought True Lime Black Cherry Limeade. And uh, this looks like it ought to be pretty good. True Limes makes some pretty good products. And for my hot drink, I was out of town uh, two weeks ago and stayed in a hotel. And one of the things that they had sitting out was these little tea bags 
And so I didn't use them while I was there, but I did start thinking, hey, these would be really cool to put in, a, in an MRE. So I've got a little pack of, M, of Earl Grey black tea, and also I got sugar packs, a napkin pack, and some coffee stirs. And then the last thing that's in there is out of my MRE collection is gum. a pack of gum. My seasoning pack that I got to go with my salmon and my rice is this Seeds of Change Perfect for Fish Lemon, Garlic, and Chive Seasoning. I also have, I told you I had the spoon and fork already because I didn't have an MRE spoon. So in this one, I've got, this is my hot drink. It is the instant flavored coffee. So this is um, vanilla cappuccino, vanilla latte something or other. Vanilla, French vanilla something or other coffee that you just mix with hot water. My drink is I just have this pack of Kool-Aid lemonade. Does that already have the sugar in it? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't usually put a lot of sugar in my lemonade anyway because I don't like super sweet drinks. This is a pack of salt. Got a pack of pepper. It's a lot of pepper. I use a lot of pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I use like this much salt and this much pepper on everything. And then I have a napkin. Very cool. All right, so here we have our homemade MREs. Now, one of the reasons that we decided to do this was a big problem with <clears throat> store-bought MREs is that you don't always know everything that you're getting in it. Unless you do some research on that particular pack, you might open it and find out that, like in my case, I hate raspberry flavored stuff. A lot of MREs have raspberry drink packs in them. And dessert. <laughs> that would just be devastating to me if I was, you know, opening up mine and all I had for flavoring of, of a drink was raspberry. That'd uh, be pretty unfortunate. Yeah, or, or it would have a raspberry dessert. A lot of them have raspberry fruit bars. Uh, so by making our own, we kind of give ourselves the ability to make sure it's stocked with things that we like, things that we will eat. So here we have it. Uh, we've loaded up. Now, I got a question for you. Hmm. How are you going to cook that? You don't have to cook it. You don't have to, but you can. You can. This would 100% be better if you put it in the microwave, but it's already made rice. This would 100% be better if you put it in a pan and baked it or cooked it on a stove top, but you can just crack it open, pour the juice off of it and eat it. Well, and here's where the bonus comes in. We don't have to do that. We can heat up our food. What? <laughs> So this, I really didn't know week, about this. <laughs> th this is a surprise. This week I picked up a really cool item uh, that I'm dying to try out. At the Coleman store? Nope. Oh, okay. Ordered Ooh, this on. I ordered this on Amazon, and I will put a link in the uh, comment section below. So if you're interested in this, if this looks like something you think is cool, you can go pick one up yourself. What I picked up was the Barrow Cook Flameless Cooker. Now this is really cool. If you know anything about MREs and you've seen the flameless ration heaters, basically this is a civilian version of that. Somebody created a product for backpackers and survivalists, a way to heat your food without having to make a fire. Now if you're backpacking on certain trails, you can't have open fires. You, uh, so if you're going to heat your food, you either have to make an illegal fire or come up with some other system. And this is a perfect system for that. We're gonna try this out today with our food. Now, the way this works is basically there's a Tupperware style lid that pops off the top like this. Inside, you have a flameless ration heater pack. Once you open this up, it has a fill line that you can fill water to and then pour it in. Inside of that uh, container is a stainless steel pan that you can either put your food directly into or you can take pouches let me see if this one's gonna fit this one is not but it comes really close so we could probably cook it in there by itself just warm it up a little bit then what you do is you take your you open up your flameless ration heater it looks like that just like the the military style this one feels a little more robust it feels like it has more of the chemical agent in it that creates the heat you drop it into the bottom there then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some water and we're gonna put it up to the fill line. Hold that for a second. I'm going to go ahead and get this out so that can go straight into the, the cooker because this is gonna to start to, to process really quick. Watch this and you'll see just how fast 
this is going to start to to activate it's already starting to puff up a little bit you should start seeing steam yep, starting to you hear it Yep. It's already generating that. heat. Ah. So I'm going <laughs> to drop this in there. I'm going to put my corn and black beans in there like this. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there too. Let's go ahead and get that a little warm. Snap that shut, just like that. Now that's going to start cooking my food. While that's cooking, I'm going to make my tea and we'll make Scarlet's coffee. Mm. That salmon is very strong smelling. So there's that. Thing's pumping out some heat, look at that. Now this has a koozie style foam uh, wrap around it so that you can pick it up because it is getting very hot. Even through the, the koozie, I can feel that heat coming out. From my understanding, uh, the, the ration heater puts off non-toxic fumes so you don't have to worry about it. Now they are very strong. So if you're cooking inside, you're going to get a lot of smell in the house. So now that I poured a little water off of my my water bottle, I can just pour the rest of my drink straight in there. This thing is really cool. I like this a lot. I've seen videos where people can will take these and you can take one of the mountain house meals. Mm -hmm. And you open it up, instead of cooking it in the container, you pour it into this, add your water, start your heater, close it, and 10, 15 minutes later, you've got your mountain house meal fully prepared. Anytime you stay at a hotel, you get a lot of products that are laid out for your use that sometimes you don't ever have a chance to use it. And I try when I can to go ahead and pick up those items and pack them up and, and be able to use them later on in tea bags and uh, instant coffee pouches things like that are always good to have to, to use in this kind of a scenario so. this instant coffee thing that i got is like coffee and creamer all in one now one thing that, you, that you want to consider uh making these in the future is anytime you take something out of its originally sealed package you shorten its shelf life mm -hmm. uh might want to look for like taster's choice and some of these other companies make a three-in-one or two-in-one coffee that already has your cream, already has your sugar in it, uh, and it's sealed up in individual pouches. Uh, like the ones that I put in the in the gallon survival mm -hmm. bucket, you know, that's all in enclosed in those pouches. All right, so I think my tea's about ready. And do, I'm gonna open up my strawberries. And I was just gonna go ahead and get everything all just laid out sick. on the tray. Yep. Would you like some freeze-dried strawberries? Actually, yes, if you want a piece of beef jerky. <laughs> I'm not opposed to sharing. There's plenty of these over here. I mean, I've got a big pile of them on my plate, and there's still a bunch in the bag, so... One serving, we're that, definitely not going to eat between the two Yeah, that was a good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Just dumped granola on my beef jerky. There's already a pretty fair amount of ow, heat on this. <laughs> Clearly. So here's the downside to putting the containers in like this. Can't get them out again. Make this... break the pocket knife. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's what I wanted, salmon juice. This actually doesn't look half bad. I was a little concerned, I'm gonna be honest. I bought this, got in the car, and thought I probably should have got a tuna pack. That's a, that's a, but uh, it actually looks pretty it good. It looks like a, a salmon steak. Yeah. You should probably maybe lay that on top of your rice. Yeah, I was going to. Cook to. it. Let me get my entree out. You could just set it in there, or yeah, you can pour it in. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour it in. The rice is a little bit dry. Yeah. So. I wouldn't kill it. It'll kill you to put a little water in it. Yeah, you've got that hot water right there. Might pour that in there. Probably not gonna put all this rice in there. Yeah, that's gonna make a lot. Just turn it over upside down. There you go. Ow, ow, I touched it. Ow, I touched it. Alright, so let's some of quickly in there. look at this, y'all. Tell me that <laughs> is not an MRE meal fit for a king or queen right there. Okay. Alright, and we'll just let that this smells good sit and stew for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and plate mine up over here look at this that looks good <laughs> it really does I mean it's got some kind of a, a sauce in it there's a really good cilantro uh, cumin scent to it so I think that's gonna go really well with the, mm -hmm. the buffalo style tuna mine's not as pretty as hers is hers actually <laughs> looks like a gourmet meal over here all right so let's mix this 
up and give it a taste. I think this is more than an adequate meal. Salmon is one of my favorite foods and I think I would be really, really miserable if I couldn't get to food that I actually like. Um, I am like weird about textures when it comes to food and stuff. So if it feels weird or looks weird or smells weird, I'm probably not gonna eat it. I know that this is pretty safe. It's salmon and rice. It's two things that I like and quinoa, salmon, rice, and quinoa and everything on here like all of these foods. Now, this is not something that I would make and stick it in my car. No. Uh, these things are not gonna hold up if you're subjecting them to heat, freezing, mm -hmm. whatever. But if you're packing these up, keeping them in the pantry in the event of a power outage or, or a disaster office. or keep it in your office at work. I mean, it's a full meal. And this right here is much better than just packing random items, grabbing random items out of a cabinet. You have thought this out and, and said, these are things that I would like to eat. This is the kind of stuff that I would want in a bad situation. Yeah. So you get to choose every individual item and make it the way that you want it and there's not going to be anything in it that you don't like or you won't eat or you won't eat all of at some point all right so i'm going to try my entree my little creation of buffalo tuna and corn and black beans with cilantro and lime that sounds good <laughs> is it good it is quite tasty oh. that's pretty good yeah i was a little a little concerned about that flavor combination like the buffalo and like the cilantro like southwest style side item but it's good to get <laughs> yeah they play off each other really mm -hmm. well look at strawberries i love beef jerky it's one of my favorite snacks well there's a lot of protein in it i love it's... all kinds of jerky yeah. turkey deer beef you're still cooking this is so freaking cool <laughs> going back to talking about the barrel cook this particular size this is um i think this is their three cup size was I believe $31 for the cook unit itself and the cook unit comes with a single flameless heater. Now you can buy additional heaters they're about $20 for a pack of 10 so it's about two bucks a piece for these things so it's not something that you'd want to use constantly. I'd want to use this for times when there's just not an opportunity to make a fire or you're in a position where you can't. So it's not something I think that you would want to be cooking all your meals with but if you wanted to, you could. The packs are relatively lightweight. They do take up a little bit of space. You saw how big that one was. But, um, I mean, you could pack several of them just inside the cooker itself. And it's got the little stainless steel bin in it, so it's easy to clean up. So essentially what you've got with the little barrow cook is a, a compact Dutch oven with a flameless rationeer. A lot of applications you could do with it, though. I mean, you could heat water in it. I've seen people boil water or at least get it really, really hot to use for hot beverages or to use for freeze-dried meals, things like that. All right, so I'm gonna get mine out of here. I'll probably burn my skin off in the process. I'm not entirely sure how to get that out without hurting myself. Basically. I guess I'm just gonna eat out, just of this. eat out of this. <laughs> All right, so I'm anxious to hear how the uh, salmon patty and rice combination is mix up my seasoning in there There's all right it smells pretty good did you survive on that i could you want to try it yeah let me try it it was actually really good i was a little concerned because i've never had this this kind of salmon before but it's good and i could almost pass for restaurant food mm -hmm. this is quite good <laughs> yeah this is much better than sitting around chewing on pemmican or hardtack if i could have some of that peanut butter at mre's though i'd be good that was something else i was finding is uh, while i was shopping for my contents i was wanting to get like hot. a little pack of peanut butter <laughs> you find a hot spot uh -huh. <laughs> yeah if you start like all the way up from the bottom it gets all that heat distributed yeah. out uh while i was shopping i was trying to find some little peanut butter packets uh, since peanut butter is very common in MREs, but none of them had decent expiration dates on them. It, it has a very short shelf life. I was surprised. I need to like go back on eBay and find somebody that's just selling MRE peanut butter. Because I would just like to have that. Like, not even for survival purposes, just for just everyday eating purposes. I'm going to make mine in the cup just to play along with the way it was intended. I didn't bring the cup with mine because it wouldn't fit in the bag with all my other large items. So let's pour out the cherry pie filling. Get my spoon here. All right, so let's pour out the 
pie filling. Now this is something else we could have put this in the barrel cook and warmed it up. All right, dump the granola in there. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. That seasoning packet, I'm really glad I got it because I didn't have to put idea. any salt on it. And I could have gone without putting pepper on it, but I just really like black pepper, so. So I'm gonna try dessert real quick. So people don't have to sit here and just watch us eat. That is really good. It really is just like pie filling. <laughs> it is, it's pie filling with granola on top of it. What's better than that? Literally nothing. You tried yours? Mm-hmm, it's dead, it's good. I'm gonna put some of my strawberry chunks in it. The strawberries, because we're outside in the they south. They are absorbing moisture out of the air. Just <laughs> And they like, feel like marshmallows now. <laughs> they do. They don't crunch anymore. Uh-uh, that's okay. Strawberries in it are quite good. I'm gonna try mine. Hot beverage. You get my Nature Valley chocolate granola bar out here. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try mine. These things are really good. They, um... Oh, there comes in, in two packs. Yeah, they have that crunch that the original Nature Valley had, but they're a little more tender, got a little bit different texture to them. Mine's vanilla marshmallow, and it does, in fact, taste like a marshmallow. Oh, uh, I didn't get to eat my M&Ms, but yeah, we'll eat the snacks I'll eat them later. later. So what do y'all think? Uh, what do you think about the idea of making your homemade MREs? Uh, I'd love to hear what you would put in yours. Give us a little comment down below and let us know. What do you think of the Barrow Cook Flameless Cooker? That's a pretty cool item. I'm glad I got that. It was uh, an interesting little surprise to throw into the video today. And we'll be trying that out again soon. I have a feeling we're going to do another video and we're going to bring that along. It's it. really freaking cool. <laughs> so if you got anything out of this video, be sure and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more videos coming. And until next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you next time.